Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, and in this episode, we're going to wrap up what Chunky has to do inside of the Frank Duke Factory, and hopefully go on to the boss. Uh, first off, the first thing we need to do, well, first off, the first thing we did need to do is not kind of redundant, we need to get all of Chunky's crap. And my crap, me, I mean, his two potions and his musical instrument, which, I mean, since we have 22 coins now, because of the preparations I did in advance, should not be uh, any problem, you know? So let's just talk to Miss Miss Candy Kong and hopefully not get any new windows. So we get the triangle trample. And if you don't think that is manly, you have problems and I'm too hyper. But I don't think Candy will mind since, you know, Candy's always kind of makes you hyper. Okay. So let's... <laughs> I love how this, the DK portrait has, like, spider webs. You think, you know, Candy clean up a little bit. But yeah, now we got our musical instrument, which will be very useful. Not only in killing everything on the screen, but also unlocking some of his bananas and... Pfft, for three coins, man. I poop out that money. Like, there's no tomorrow. And, something that's cool about Chunky. He actually has a unique ability, which the game doesn't actually tell you you have. Uh, I actually thought this was a potion. It's actually not. It's, you can just, you can just pick up big, heavy objects. And the first thing we got, which was, uh, I actually don't remember. It's called, um, Okay, so we get the Primate Punch, which is basically lets us knock down Metal Greats, which will become later, help us later in getting some of his bananas. And the first potion that costs three coins we actually got makes uh, Chunky Kong very large. Like, he goes all Super Mario and gets gigantic. And he says he doesn't have any potions for us yet till the fourth level, which actually is kind of lying, but more on that later. Let's get the crap out of here as we've done all that. Man, <laughs> Chunky's so cool. It's like the coolest like, punch ever. It's just like, I don't care. Urgh! See, he's so cool. But yeah. So now we need to come over here, and I believe there's a couple coins or nanas. No, I think we got rid of those. All right. So let's primate punch or whatever that. And hey, another dirt pile. Yes, this is the one for this level. Yeah, he just burps. He's so funny. Thing is, the animation takes forever for the coin. Yeah, we just got even more money. We have so much money, it's quite ridiculous, to be frank. And ah, uh, great. I did this in the wrong order. My apologies. Yeah, might as well grab some of these nanners. Yeah. Let's just do this. Ah, oh, crap. He's just barely too... He's just He's just too... He's too chunky to get his own bananas, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the liberty of grabbing these in advance. Never hurt nobody. Never hurt nobody. Oh, great. Actually, I did hurt somebody. Well, isn't that embarrassing? Okay. But what you first need to do is you gotta backflip up here and then use your simian slam and take care of this. And hey, another button. Well, that's just fantastic. Now I'll make that thing explode. Yeah, I kind of forgot how to do that, but... And yeah, that's the golden banana. This isn't timed, even though it kind of is, because the platforms, obviously, like I just showed, don't stay lit forever. They're not really lit, just powered. So I need to make sure to do that. The reason I kind of, like, I don't know, I didn't really do this on purpose, but it is kind of annoying to get those green bananas for Chunky, even though I don't think, actually, he's going to have a problem getting all of his tiny bananas. And yeah, three out of five bananas. Sounds like I'm doing a review. <laughs> uh, yeah, we already got 50 out of 201 bananas. Man, we're actually doing this playthrough kind of quick in my opinion oh no, well <laughs> I'm not complaining and I don't see why you would either I mean I don't know I just I don't really rush my let's plays it's just people are actually sometimes astonished by how fast I finish them I don't know is it do I actually rush stuff I mean I always ask myself that question but you can't really come to a real answer and I see coins there I'm just going to ignore them because I'm such a jerk as we enter the bonus barrel Ooh. and yeah this is a bonus stage but it's not like the other one we got here it's actually a kind of a fun and unique one. Well, mostly fun because it's not really hard. But yeah, what you gotta do is you gotta get these coins, all six, to actually go to the goal. So make sure to do that. And I believe I already missed one. Nope, I didn't. All right, so I'm doing it correctly. Yeah, so we got half the coins, and we're not even halfway done with our time. That's terrific. It is sort of a maze with enemies laid about, like uh, splats and whatnot. But then again, it's not really difficult at all because the enemies are relatively easy to take out. I don't believe you can use the triangle trample here, but. In reality, you really shouldn't need it, and I didn't actually make a map for this area because it's actually pretty straightforward. I usually do that for every every uh, little place like this, but yeah. Well done, we have finished the bonus area. All right, so now let's think. We should have just one more banana to get, but wait, I gotta get those fairies too. Crap, that sounded scripted. Oh well. So now we just need one more banana. Oh, oh yeah, I remember this banana. This banana is sweet. Oh gosh, there's not really mini bosses in this game. But there is, like, you'll, you'll see in a second. It's it's really cool. I feel like they did a really awesome job on this, too, personally. But yeah, we gotta snag these stinking fairies. You know, that, that lady wants us to catch them all. So we gotta catch them all, yeah. With our cameras. Uh, most of them will move actually really fast. That one was actually being kind of nice and 
took it slow, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of quote a song, but I couldn't think of one, so yeah. And she just fills up everything, because she's that kind of lady. She's just nice and, you know, it's, it's nice to help other people out, you know. And I'm research and development. Is that where I need to go next? I'm not exactly sure. But I guess we'll figure out in a second. And wow, I'm just really hyper today. I just really wanted to play this game. Really, I'm so excited for this LP. Okay, come on, stay still for like two seconds. Okay, yes! Sweet. I mean, those are kind of like the balloons, and just, they're a pain in the butt, to be honest. And yay, so we got all, almost everything, in this world. We got 20, oh yeah, our crystal coconut amount went up to two. <laughs> two, two. I just think that was the most funny thing ever. Like, hey, two, two, I'm so funny. Oh my gosh, give me, give me a dollar. Alright, I really hope I'm going in the right direction here. Okay, please, 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 please. Please? Please. Yay, alright, my memory served me. Well, right, so that's good. But yeah, this next banana is by far probably one of my favorites in the whole game, just because it's really cool. I mean, I don't really know how to describe it other than that. Hey, I saw a balloon, I'm gonna get that balloon. Not only do you need the primate punch, but you also need your triangle trample. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Is it, they just give like the biggest, like toughest guy, like the, arguably the sissiest of all instruments. But what, two seconds ago, wasn't I calling it the coolest? And yeah, whatever. There's ten bananas in here, and that will give us our banana medal, which, if memory serves me right, is all we need to 100% the level. Yay! There's five over there to you, but I'm not picking them up because you don't really need them. It's primate punch that little. The chest thing and oh crap, the door's closing on us. What's happening? Oh my gosh, it's Pandora's toy chest. Ugh. And yes, this is probably the coolest thing in the whole game. It's a little like you, you gotta fight dudes and oh holy crap, they're intense. <laughs> I don't even know what those things are. Are they like stop signs for kids? Who really knows? But there's more dudes to kick butts and oh dang, there. Yeah. Watch yourself, dude. I need to pick up these melons. They're useful. Oh crap. Now, whoa, a lot of dudes are coming out now. Don't let that melon disappear. Don't let that melon disappear, wouldn't it? I love how, I love how Chunky's all oblivious today. He's not even looking in the direction. Hey, that barrel. I bet that's important. Okay, whoa. They want all Transformers on us. Look at that guy. He doesn't mess around. You know, they'll give you just enough time to jump in the awesome uh, barrel of toughness. And come out one heck of an ape. Ugh. Yeah, this is the boss fight with Pandora's toy ch I don't even. It doesn't even have a name, but it's cool. Basically, my strategy is just to basically hurricane punch, as I call it, around him, damaging him. You could try the primate punch, because it does kind of like have a falcon punch aspect to it, but it's not really necessary, if memory serves me right. You know, all you gotta do is get a certain amount of hits on him. It doesn't really matter what kind. And it's kind of slow and kind of stupid. It's just so it's so funny. Like, they just combined all the models together for the thing, and I don't know, it's always been one of my favorite bananas. It really gives Chunky, you know, something to look forward to. Duh! Okay. Yeah, I got it. He's got one... He's got a tough right hook, if you know what I mean. Don't take this boss lightly. You know, it does look humorously easy. It's just really fun, and why is this taking so long? Speak of me taking stuff for the long, it's been defeated, so yay! And yet again, the banana just decides to pop out of nowhere. And alright, guys, I think that's actually 100%. Four, oh my gosh, did I get that? Yes, I did get that. I was like, oh, how could I miss the fairy? But I got it anyways. Where's the banana? Oh, it's right over there. My mistake, my mistake. Yeah, five, 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 five. We didn't turn in Stinky Lanky's blueprint. Crap. Well, I gotta go do that eventually, so. Actually, did I get Chunkies? Oh yeah, I did Chunkies off screen. My bad. So yeah, we basically have 100% for everybody. Let's just check toes real quick. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, once I turn that... Uh, thingy in. And yeah, that's, so that's pretty much everybody. We've actually 100 percent at our first level. Congrats, congrats. Let's pat ourselves on the back. Okay. So, why am I so hyper? Ugh, I just, like, today's a Thursday, right? I didn't know we had didn't have school tomorrow. And that makes me pretty happy. Everyone's just like, dude, tomorrow's a planning day. You didn't know that? And I'm like, uh, no? And they're all just laughing at me. And I thought they were just, like, crazy or something. Then I asked my teacher. He was like, yeah, it's tomorrow's planning day. And I thought he was crazy. So I had to contact the president, he was like, yeah, stupid, you have a planning day, and I'm like, dang it. Not really, I didn't talk to the president. Well, obviously, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, back to scoff and trough, or toff and scr seriously, I have no idea, and yeah, those blue things were little birdies, because Chunky's such a kind little soul, and you'll actually realize, um, you don't ever have to actually collect 100 bananas for each Kong to actually 
access the boss. That's kind of, I don't know, it's not really a misconception. It's just, if you get the banana medals, you should be able to go on the boss, really. You'll have more bananas than you need. And no, the tiny bananas do not carry over pr uh, to next levels. It has to be level specific. And man, three Kongs? Dude, what the crud? Storm must be really big. Hey, let's use Tiny. Tiny needs some a little more attention. <laughs> She's got 86. What a weird number. It's weird. It's weird, man. All right. So let's just toss 40 in there, and we'll be good to go, hopefully, to the boss of this area. My word. What is going to happen? Why am I being so dramatic? I don't even know. And I'm the one commentating right now. <laughs> Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be? It's like I'm psychic again. It's Tiny Kong versus whatever's in that room. And even though all the rooms kind of look similar. So it's, I, I don't really get it. Mm. So let's just blind, blindly charge in all heroically to meet what's inside the boss door. -na 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 -na. <laughs> uh, I'm having way too much fun playing this game. And dude, look at this area. What is even... I'm just, I'm just blown away by how simple yet cool looking this world is. Huh. What's all this about? So maybe we step on one of these platforms. Oh. I guess the game wants us to step on here now. Whoa. Uh. Where are you taking us? Oh, please don't flatten us on the ceiling. Oh, that would suck. Oh, good, they stopped. <gasps> what the? Uh, uh, what's happening? Uh. It's funny, that's the only time you see that animation for Tiny. But, yeah. What the heck is that? We gotta fight more toy oriented bosses. Are you serious? Yeah, this one's no pushover. And that's Mad Jack, the crazy psychotic duck in a box. Yeah, this guy, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty tough. First off, you can't even fight this guy. Whoa, bad timing, okay. That's a good omen for what to come. If you actually fall down on the platforms, you don't actually lose any life, so don't worry. Yeah, this guy pretty stinking tough for me personally he'll keep following you around if I have any advice for this boss fight just keep going if you can fly in a circle or go in a circle really he's not too fast but make sure you actually hear it's gonna actually be kind of hard to do this boss fight while not being able to hear what he says Ooh, gosh okay yeah, he's in close pursuit behind us oh gosh okay so he's on a blue square so we gotta find a switch that's on a blue square it's like every boss in this game, for some reason, you throw fireballs. I never understood it. Yeah, so let's ground pound this. And that'll shoot an electric current onto the blue block. <laughs> now we just gotta do that about 23 more times. Okay, I'm not even joking. Alright. So, I mean, I like the strategy. You can kind of go, like, on the edges and go, like, I don't know, across or diagonally across the blocks. That kind of, you know, because he, can, he can't do that, but you can. So that's kind of a okay strategy. I find this actually working pretty well until he gets in later phases where he gets much, 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 much faster. Among other things, when, you know, this is... This this boss fight's really just a test of longevity, not really your ability to platform. If you kind of get what I'm saying, I don't know. That's a that's a pretty big vocabulary word, man, longevity. I'm going to have to use context clues to figure that one out. Yeah, another electric current. Straight to the mallard. Or whatever he is. I don't know. Is he really even a duck? Seems more like a, just a psychotic toy, and I fell down again with the crap. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Oh, crap, man. I don't like this boss. It takes me off, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it, see, it always seemed so much harder when I was little, because I actually never knew how to do Tiny's little twirly attack thing. Well, it's not even an attack. Little pigtail whirl. Now that's that, that little laugh. It's so weird. Uh, he's close behind us. Oh, whoa, he's really close behind us. Start going diagonal. Okay. Bought us some time. Okay, he's popping now. Which, which, which square is he on? Okay, he's on blue. Okay, good. I think I think the blue switch is over here. Yes, it is! Awesome! I'm actually getting pretty lucky on this boss so far. So that makes it three electrical currents. Good. Okay. Wow, this boss is actually pretty long. Hopefully I'll have time for all of this in the episode. And eh, we probably will. Even if I to make it a little bit longer, I'm sure. Many of you won't mind, actually. Oh, crap! Whoa, we stew! Get the crap out of here, man. Oh, crap. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't like how the camera does that. Ugh. No! Okay. Oh, crap. Dang it. I can't even poop. Okay. So, what square is he on? He's on white. Oh, crap. What's he doing now? He's going berserk mode. Now he's going to shoot laser beams out of his eyes. Oh, crap. 
it'll basically do that on the square that you were just on. Okay, please beat him. Oh, thank you. Awesome. So that makes it four? I don't know. I just noticed he has like a dress thing. What's up with that? Is he? Oh, dang. Donald is not happy now. Now he's invisible, which he's super fast. The good thing is this is the last uh, phase, and he's also invisible. And I've already said that. Yeah, it does make it substantially more difficult. But, like I said, this is the last phase. You can't actually... <laughs> I didn't even know that. Alright, so I just need to hear out when he's going to get out of this phase. And this is the worst commentary ever, because I'm just scared and I don't want to do this over. Hopefully I don't want... I Hopefully I don't want to... Oh, what am I even talking about? Okay, there's no... Okay, good. <laughs> I'm talking so fast I can't even control my words. Alright, now he's on the blue. Where's where's the blue switch? Where's the blue switch? Switch, 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 switch. Okay, there it is. Okay, so if I can... Okay, good. I think... I think we'll be able to beat him. Is that it? Yeah! We did it! We beat Sir Quackers of Doom. Yes! Don't even know his real name. I'm sure it's like Quack in a Box or something. I don't care. We've beaten the boss of the Frantic Factory. Donkey Kong. Yes! The reason I sounded so nervous is because I kind of died on that boss a lot. But yeah, guys. Now we've now 100% at our first level. But what are you talking about, Jenny? I thought we... I presented, you know, Jungle Japes and Angry Aztec. No! But in the next episode, guys, we're gonna actually... Yeah, screw it, I'm gonna keep on talking. <laughs> in the next couple episodes, we're gonna be taking care of that with Tiny, Chunky, and Lanky, respectively. But real quick, I want to make sure that you get some of these little barrels. You know, these barrels. Actually, not really barrels. We're just gonna get some golden bananas that are actually in the lobby here. Uh, one of which... Actually, isn't a golden banana at all. We just got a ground pound this. No, we got a primate punch, man. Punch that junk. He's going to make a fairy come out, but there's also a purple casplat. Well, who needs to take care of that? Unintentional rhyming. Yeah, he's the best kind. Well, no, neither than Tiny Kong. And he looks kind of distracted by the fairy. It's kind of. So let's just shoot a million feathers into that bloke. And go over and collect our casplat blueprint. Interesting. Let's make sure that you snag the little fairy. Just like in basically every single thing that applies in the actual worlds also apply in the overworlds. Which is basically there's Kasplats to get, Golden Manas for each Kong, and yeah, pretty much that. But there's just still one more uh, banana to get. Actually, I don't know. How many bananas do I want to get right now? Hmm. Yeah, let's use our Gorilla Grapple. Probably the lamest ability in the whole game. And activate this little uh, platform. What's that going to take us to? Oh, a Donkey Kong thing. Neato. And dang it, I missed my platform. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. So let's just play those drums and get another uh, golden banana. It's kind of a lame golden banana. Basically, just squawks, just hands it to you. It's kind of. I don't like it. It's kind of lame, to be honest. But it's a golden banana, so what are you complaining for? Oh, right. So we got the uh, two for Donkey Kong. Hmm, I think I had more. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm just on. I'm on a spree today. Let's pick up another golden banana for our friend Donkey Kong in the overworld. And in the next episode, guys, we're going to uh, Jungle Japes, and we're gonna hopefully take care of Lanky Kong stuff. Oh crap! I timed that so awesomely. <laughs> okay, basically he's got to drop down from uh, those little ropes, shoot this little door, and there you go. There's another golden banana. We've gotten actually a crap load of golden bananas in this episode. That makes me pretty happy. So all right, guys, the next video. Like I said, Jungle Japes, Lanky Kong, Dino Kong, Crunky, Chunky Kong. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.